Okay, today I'm gonna test this uh, electric motor. I want to make sure that it can hold up to like a, at least a 25 amp drag. I did have a, mo a smaller motor on uh, a couple weeks ago, and it would just shut the hell off. <laughs> so uh, this should do it. But um, I have a cell that's in the bath right now. It's almost a gallon and a half of distilled water with just uh, one heaping tablespoon of. Uh, I'm using the drain cleaner right now because I ran out of KOH and uh, you'll be able to watch the voltage drag when I plug it in you'll see the battery voltage standing right now and there's the PWM and notice the uh, when I shut it off and on you'll see the belt tighten up that's the drag is being applied to the motor so um, we'll plug it in here and uh, get it going it's gonna be a little noisy so just watch I'm going to put a switch later and put this under the bench so I won't hear it. And there's the battery voltage. So uh, I just wanted to show you that. I just want to make sure that this system can handle the load. And I'm not going to go over 25 amps, so this should be fine. And uh, that's going to go in that tube back there. And what that will cause, when these go in, it'll be like a dry cell. So I'll be blocking the current jump around the edges of the plates. And now we'll be doing testing, me and Daryl. Um, all kinds of different things now once this is put back together so it seems like it's working okay little drag you see the belt tighten up in the video that's when I put the switch off and on um, I didn't get much change on battery voltage or alternator voltage this is spinning pretty fast I'm gonna reduce it to about 2000 rpms that's about what a car does going down the road at 65 so have a great day and I'm going back to work bye